Boy, won't give it up for the world. Nothing like coming home to the rock, boy, for real. Good evening, Barbados. Peace be unto you all. Today has been a glorious day. And all praise to the Almighty is due for this. The saying goes, stand up for what is right, even if you stand alone. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we are not alone. We are together, united as one. Different races, different religions, different parties and political affiliations standing up together. We are standing up together, showing our dissatisfaction in the state of affairs in our country. And the best part is that considering that we live in a world riddled with turmoil and conflict, we, the people of this country, can show protests in the form of a civilized and peaceful demonstration. This, this is something really to be thankful for. Martin Luther King once said, stand up for justice, stand up for truth, and God will be at your side forever. Let us keep it that way so that we can always be assured of God's bountiful blessings. The Quran tells us, O oh, you who believe, stand firm for justice, even if against your own self. Stand up for what is right, regardless of your attachments and affiliations, no matter who it is or what it is. When something is wrong, it is wrong. And today, we, the citizens and the people of Barbados, have come together so wonderfully to demonstrate peacefully but effectively our disaffection with the management of our country. The leadership of this country has no choice but to hear our cries today. My father has been a salesman on the road for most of his life. He is in touch with and on the ground with the people across the island on a daily basis. He knows who got married, who got divorced, who died, who had a child, who sick, who got a new job, and who was laid off. He sees, hears, and he lives the pulse of the people every day. And one thing is for sure, many, many, many individuals Families and communities are suffering across the length and breadth of Barbados today. Households that had three people working in them now have one person working or none at all. Some youngsters have had to give up their dreams and aspirations of bettering their lot in life through university because their parents simply cannot afford it. Relationships between husbands and wives are strained because of stresses of financial hardship. Some children are joining bad company because they are restless and frustrated at their inability to find work. Men and women across Barbados are experiencing extreme hardship in taking care of their families. Barbarians at large are having difficulty island-wide meeting our commitments to pay bills, car payments, rents, mortgages, etc. People across Barbados are depressed, they are stressed, they are downtrodden, and most of all, Barbarians are fed up. We are all here today to stand up as citizens of Barbados to say that this pressure just cannot continue. We, the people of this country, are hurting and we are in need of hope for tomorrow 
and therefore we are in need of change today. Thank you. Get up.